Welcome back students. Today we are going to discuss the topic that is diversity in living things. Now we know that there are enormous variety of living organisms which exist on earth and there are about 5 to 30 million species of plants and animals on earth. So let's study about the classification of the diversity in the living things. Now basically there are two large groups of living things as we know first is animals and second is plants. Animals are basically classified into vertebrates and invertebrates. Okay. Vertebrates means mostly the organisms or you can say the animals which have vertebral corm or you can say the spine as you can see in the cheetah. Again and in invertebrates there is no specific bones or you can say uh, the vertebral column or the perfect skeleton in the animals. So let's see what are vertebrates. These are the animals with the backbone. Okay. So you can see in human beings also the backbones is present which are considered in the mammals as well as you can see in the frog also the vertebral column are present. So these uh, vertebrates include five groups, mainly the amphibians, birds, fish, mammals and the reptiles. So amphibians are example for this can be the frog and all frogs, snakes. Next comes the birds fish, mammals means all the animals you can consider, the reptiles, uh, this includes basically the crocodiles and all. So students, in this session we have seen, basically the living things are classified into two large groups, first is animals and second is plants. Plants are again, animals are again divided into two categories, first is vertebrates and second is invertebrates. Vertebrates are basically the animals which have backbone and they have main five groups amphibians, birds, fish, mammals, etc. So in further session we will have a more detailed look regarding the further classification of animals and plants. Thank